So whether you're new to wholesaling or you've been doing it for a while, you probably throw away a lot of leads that you don't have to throw away because you think they're no good because maybe they want closer to retail. Well, I've got the perfect solution for you. And no, it's not creative financing. It's something even better in a lot of cases. Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Graylin Stewart. Thanks for joining me today. I am a real estate investor, entrepreneur, virtual wholesaler. Uh, we do innovations, creative finance, a little bit of everything, fix and flips, buy and holds. So my channel is primarily about wholesaling real estate because that is, to be honest, our first exit strategy in our business. That's our goal on every property is to wholesale it. If we can't wholesale it, sometimes we pivot uh, end up keeping the property as a rental. We might fix and flip it or we turn it into a novation deal. We might hotel it or um, we might try something more creative. But today's video, I'm talking about specifically novations, okay? So you've probably heard me mention it a couple of times throughout some of my videos recently, okay? Now we started doing novations just a short few months ago and it's definitely been a game changer. So you may not have even heard the term because it is still fairly new as far as people talking about it. Um, but novations have been around for a little while. But essentially, what you're doing when you're doing a novation deal, it's essentially um, you're selling a property on the MLS just like a traditional realtor does. Um, but we're selling it to these, you know, actual VA, FHA, conventional buyers. You're kind of wholesaling on the MLS. It's sort of a hybrid, okay? It's like a hybrid between wholesaling and actually uh, retailing the house, like with a with a regular realtor, you know, to a regular conventional buyer, okay? So that's kind of what it is. It's really just a hybrid, okay? Now, how do we do the novation deal? Um, <clears throat> really, it's all in your conversation. So the criteria is you're really being more upfront with the seller. You're kind of telling them like, hey, you know, this doesn't really work for us, obviously. You know, for cash, we have to be at fifty-five thousand dollars, and I know that you won't drop below seventy-five thousand. So really, cash option just won't work for you or for me either one, right? But we do have another solution. Um, it's a solution that uh, gives you your price at seventy-five thousand dollars, and uh, on top of that, it allows us to just take over the entire process for you, to where you literally just have to sit back and wait for the closing date to get your check, okay? Now the way it works is we will actually get three contracts signed up front from the seller, and then we'll get one more signed once we find a buyer. Um, so there's actually four contracts, four agreements, um, or documents that you have to get signed in a Novation deal, okay? So what it really is, is you're, you're wholesaling on the MLS legally, and we are acting as the seller on behalf of the seller because they sign either a power of attorney or attorney in fact agreement allowing us to sign on their behalf so we're signing on their behalf we're negotiating with uh, other realtors and things like that but I get this question often um, and we even get it from our sellers um, not necessarily from our sellers but we get it from like my acquisition managers especially when we first started doing them they're like well why wouldn't somebody just go list their house if that's all we're doing for them, okay? So here's the difference, and it's all in your presentation and how you present it, obviously, but uh, but really what, what a novation deal is, just a legal way for us to list the house on the MLS for top dollar, okay? But the criteria is, um, obviously you're having a different conversation, you're more upfront with them, but I wrote some notes down here. Um, the properties are typically in pretty decent condition, so it's livable, right? These aren't the hoarder houses or the super junker houses that are boarded up, uh, fallen in roofs or any of that, okay? They're usually a little bit nicer house. They might need some repairs like some paint and cosmetics, but typically nothing super major, all right? Um, and then uh, the time commitment, from the seller is important because usually a wholesale deal, part of that, um, part of the reason they these sellers gravitate to wholesalers or people offering uh, cash for homes and things like that is because of our time, okay? We're telling them we're gonna pay cash 
and close fast, right? And that is what intrigues them. They need the cash and they want it fast, right? But when you're doing an innovation deal, uh, time is not necessarily a factor for them. They're like, yeah, we can wait a little bit because I'm not dropping below my 75,000. I need that. Let's just use 100,000. I always use that as an ARV because it's simple math. $100,000 house, we oftentimes want to be in the 40 to 50 range probably. Um, but let's just say we were trying to offer 55 because it's not horrible shape, but it does need some work. And they just flat won't come off of 75. So in that scenario, we're like, well, we have another solution for you um, that we can help you out with. You know, we kind of explain the process. All we need is a little extra time since you're not really in a super hurry and you want your price. We can give you your price, but we need a little more time. You know, not our typical 30 day close, but, you know, maybe even up to 90 days, 60 to 90 is what we're asking you to commit to. Uh, so give us time and also allow walkthroughs because we are going to shop this to our pool of cash buyers being totally upfront, like I said, and we're going to put this on the MLS and all other websites for the world to actually see this property. And they're like, sometimes they do ask, well, why wouldn't I just list this myself if you're doing that? Well, here's the difference, Mr. Seller. Now we're offering this service to where you have your price up front and you literally sit back and wait for closing date, show up at closing and sign some documents and get your check. Okay. Now, if you're going to list this on the MLS, you're going to be dealing with the realtor back and forth. Um, they're going to be calling you all the times. Is this time okay for showing? Is this time okay? You know, um, then they're going to get to the inspections and tell you, you got to fix this, got to fix this, got to fix this. Then you got to pay for all those things and wait, go through the hassle of finding your own contractors to do those things. Then you're going to finally get to closing. Then you've got your closing costs. You're going to pay realtor fees. You're going to pay all these different fees and headaches, right? So the difference with us, as opposed to you going through all of that mess, just let us handle all that for you. We give you your price up front. You get your 75. Now we might sell this, this house for 80,000 and they might ask for $5,000 in repairs. So we're taking all the risk. We're obviously breaking even or probably losing because we're also paying realtor fees and closing costs for you. Um, so that's why when you're, when you're doing these deals, you do have to get these at a right price still, but you can pay more. We can probably pay 75 if the house is in decent condition, just needs cosmetics, because we're gonna list it for 100 at the ARV, right? Um, and let's just take off 10% for all those fees, smaller repairs after the TRR, which is the repair list after inspections, um, the closing costs and the realtor fees. Now we typically list it with a flat fee realtor that'll charge a couple hundred bucks to list it. So we're really only paying 3% on the back end to, you know, a buyer's realtor. Okay. So we're paying 3% there. Usually closing is close to 3% and we factor in a couple of percent for, um, the repairs. Okay. So we just knock off 10 grand from the get go. So you've got your hundred thousand dollar house. We're probably going to list it, um, at a hundred thousand dollars, but we're already kind of deducting to 90 as our fees that we're going to have to end up paying on the end. Okay. So we have a $15,000 spread built in of profit because we already took our 10,000 out for potential fees that we're going to have. So therefore, um, in, in a recent, you know, previously we would have just said, well, you know, we would have maybe pitched the creative finance, you know, we'll take up repayments or, you know, we, we can give you your price if you give us the right terms, you know, and a lot of times they don't want that. They just want their money. Right. So in that case, we would have threw the lead away because they can't get to our 55 at our max offer. Uh, and they're stuck on 75, you know, that's a $20,000 gap that we just can't close. But now with novations, that hundred thousand dollar house, we're going to sell for maybe 98, you know, negotiate a little bit with the buyer and then we're taking 10 off. So we got 88 and we got it at 75. So that's a $13,000 spread that we got there. So that's essentially the wholesale fee that we typically, uh, would have just thrown in the trash before, but now we're, we're basically pulling $13,000 out of the air to where we just brought a dead lead back to life. If that makes sense. So novations are powerful y'all. It's, it's definitely changed our business. We've got, uh, I was just looking this morning, uh, 24 deals in escrow and 10 of those are novation deals. So that is a game changer. That's 10 leads that we would have threw in the trash, literally that were no good at all that an hour probably going to make 10 to 20, even 30 grand on some of those. Um, so it's the same deal. We, we still want to make a minimum of 10, 15 grand on a deal. Um, but we could just pay a little bit more. So therefore you don't really have a lot of competition because 
all the other cash buyers and wholesalers and fix and flippers and uh, landlords are offering people, these same people, around the same price we probably did, 55. They might get up to 60, but nobody was ever able to give them their 75 unless they did creative financing, which they didn't want because you're going to get your money over time. But if they want their money now, it's in decent condition and they're willing to wait a little bit and let us show the house here and there, then boom, you got a novation deal uh, profit ready to happen. So anyways, hopefully all that made sense. Drop me some comments. I'll do some other videos on novations. I'm definitely going to make a mini course on novations just to kind of share more value for the ones that, that want that. Um, you know, totally optional, obviously. But uh, hopefully this was beneficial. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Like, subscribe, share, do all those things to help me out so I can keep bringing you free content. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one.